So my last video took about three weeks to produce, and don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled with the outcome, but when considering what to make next, I was thinking, is there something that I can do in a mini DIY, you know, just so I could take a breather? Like maybe do a one day build, or a, a one hour build, nay, a one minute build. And I'm in my car because I had this thought staring at my gas gauge, and then it came to me. So today I'm gonna show you how to make hyper fuel. This is gonna be great, it's the simplest DIY ever. And what I came up with was glow powder and a black light. I got a jar filled with water and poured in glow in the dark resin powder. As you'll notice, it just immediately all sank to the bottom. So in order for this to work, it has to be shook up before each take. But I don't want any of it to get absorbed into this very non-Star Wars-y cork. So that, let's, uh, let's space that up a bit with foil tape. That's terrible. That's the that's my worst foil taping ever. Ugh, might as well have used tin foil. To get something that looks a little better, you would just trace the cork on the opposite side of the foil tape before you cut it. That's a lot easier with the foil tape that you can get from AutoZone, which has the paper backing. Or, you know, you could just use a container with a metal lid. The glow powder is denser than the water, so it'll sink, which means you gotta shake it up now and again to keep the consistency consistent. God, I need a thesaurus. This stuff is glow in the dark, but if you want it to really be vibrant, then you have to hit it with a UV light or a black Blacklight. They're the same thing. It's two words of the same thing. If you're making this prop for film, then you're gonna want to recharge it between takes or build a fake base and hide the UV light inside, which is probably what they ended up doing for the movie because, you know, they're storing it in that sort of metallic containment unit. Although I imagine that they probably used LED strips because those are just easier to conform to the interior of an oddly shaped prop, you know? All right. Hey, thanks for watching this mini tutorial. As I said before, I like to make these from time to time because the videos the patrons are covering, the people scrolling by right now, Thanks guys to large prop tutorials. Those can potentially take weeks and they require this huge budget just for the time it takes to build the prop, wait for all the materials to set up and then do all the editing and post. Whereas this is something that was quick, fun, hopefully helpful that I was able to make in a couple hours. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any suggestions for mini DIYs in the future or regular DIYs. And if you want to support me so that I can make more of the robust suggestions that I get, then you can head on over to the Patreon page where patrons receive these videos early and ad free as well as behind the scenes content. All right, Jake out. Let's kill the house lights.